Welcome to the Camaro workshop. Next five minutes I'm going to take a brief tour and see what happens to computers once they enter this facility. All of these computers we've collected from private and individual donors nationwide. So this is the type of equipment that would either be dumped or destroyed. And what we want to try and do with it is reuse it, give it a second life in Africa. And to do that we must obviously fix it, test it, package it and wrap it. So the first thing that we do obviously we don't know whether it works or not. We'll drop them up on this bench here, and they're ready to be logged into our AfriTrack database. We must be able to track from original donor to final beneficiary, a full cradle to grave, so that equipment we can actually track to the school in Africa, and then eventually back to us for, for recycling. So here what we do is we have an Oracle database, and we will track online all of the systems that we take in. If it doesn't work, we'll obviously track it to an authorised recycler here in Ireland. About 10% of the equipment that we take in is not suitable to be sent out to a school. But to do that, we must obviously test it. Computers that have been tracked are dropped onto this bench. Each computer gets a, a workshop refill check sheet. What that means is that computers obviously go through all of the areas and as a task is completed, the appropriate box is ticked off. Every PC gets one of these. What we do at this area then in area 3 is we pre-test it. All of our computers must make a minimum specification before it's shipped out. That ensures obviously that it's a long life out in Africa, about five years. Equipment that's not suitable doesn't meet our specification. What we'll do is we'll drop it onto this bench here. So you can see some of the issues here. This one. This PC has no hard drive, so obviously it's not suitable to go out to a school. So it's dropped here into this area, and this is PC hospital. What happens is here, you'll take a PC, you'll drop it up, and you'll try and swap out a part. You've got 15 minutes to try and upgrade the PC to try and make it suitable for a school. If, unfortunately, you can't get it to work after 15 minutes, you'll strip out the parts that are reusable, and we obviously have to scrap the other parts that are not. We send all of the parts then that are not reusable out to an authorised recycler here in Ireland. PCs that do make the spec that are good enough to be sent out to school, obviously Amor or Dala White to US Department of Defence standards. So you can see here, we use Department of Defence standard. This one here is, oh, it's nearly two hours. It's doing four of seven passes. When a hard drive has been wiped to US Department of Defence standard, we get a D-band succeeded. All selected discs have been wiped. Basically what happens is then the technician will sign off and make sure that that is completed. Any disc that can't be wiped with software will remove that hard drive and will physically degauss it and crush it here on site and pop a new hard drive into it. We ensure that no computer is sent out to a school in Africa without Africa. Obviously, it's data being wiped to the US Department of Defense standard. So all of these PCs would have been destroyed, but these are good enough now to be sent out to a school. What we will do is we will load on a Linux operating system onto each of these computers, packed with educational resources, um, office applications that are suitable for the curriculum, and then ship them out. About one in ten of the computers will do a quality control on them. So every tenth PC gets a yellow sticker and basically what we do is we ensure that all of the previous steps have been taken. So as a technician checks the steps, if it's okay, they'll mark the box. If there's anything wrong, what we'll do is we'll go back and review the processes to see if any changes can be made. We'll take the same precautions then with the keyboards and the mice. We make sure that every key on every donated keyboard has been tested and every mouse button and scroll wheel on the mouse is also suitable. So you can see here, mice to be cleaned and tested and then obviously mice clean and tested. So what we'll do is we'll drop them up here, we'll have a program that runs and we literally test all the keys and test all the buttons. There's nothing worse than sending a fully functional computer out to a school and the mouse doesn't work. What we do then is, PCs then are checked again, they're cleaned, they're wrapped and packed. They're placed then over here, where we'll box them up. So we'll get a clean and tested 
computer, a clean and tested keyboard, and a clean and tested mouse, and two power leads. And brought them into a box. And here's a PC ready to go out to a school in Africa. That's pretty much it. It takes about six and a half hours on average for a computer to come in, get fully tested, wrapped and packed. And we would hope to send out about seven and a half thousand computers out of this facility this year.